What is up fellow web developers, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be creating a React app where we can dynamically get um, different subreddit uh, posts, uh, the hottest posts from those subreddits. So for example we're currently looking at web devs, it's actually an input field here where we can change. Um, so we can get different posts uh, and let's say we didn't want uh, web dev, we want JavaScript. And we go here, you can see we get the JavaScript ones. And one thing we can do is if we click on one of these, uh, you'll see it brings us to the actual Reddit post. So it's just a quick way of getting stuff. Obviously, there's probably better uses for this and you can get a lot more out of it. But for now, this is a basic way of displaying some Reddit stuff uh, from the API. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new React app. Um, I'm not going to show you how to set up a new React app or anything like this. If you have Node installed, you can actually just copy this command I'm about to type now and get it started. We're going to call it the React, or we're just going to call it the subreddit feed app. Um, and hit enter. So let's go create a React app and I'll see you once it's actually installed all the necessary files. Okay guys, so as you can see it's now finished and what we're going to do is cd into subreddit feed and we're going to do code to open up in Visual Studio Code but before we finish we're just going to run npm start to actually start the web development surfer. Now if you don't know what we're doing right here you need to go check out one of my older videos on creating React apps. Um, just search it or type in uh, Tyler Parts create a React app and you'll see it on the Google thing. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description, but don't hold me to that because I never remember. Um, so back in here, let's just drop this up here, save, remove that, and here we go. So I assume you know what all these files are because, again, this isn't a from very scratch tutorial, but it is learning how to use it in a certain way. Yeah, we'll just we'll gloss over what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> we'll go into here. Let's remove the import these. Let's remove all the basic stuff from in here. Let's just rename this to say header quickly. Hit save. Uh, let's remove all the CSS from in here. And uh, we don't need to go in there. So that is perfect. So now we have a basic React uh, app, oh, a very basic React app which literally just says header. So let's quickly zoom this up to 150 just so we can see it a bit better. So what we want to do is change this for an input field of type text and we're just going to call it the sub or SR input input. I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm naming it. There we go. Um, perfect. And we're going to give this a default value of web def. Um, and that should be fine. We're then going to also create just a diff called articles and this is where we're going to uh, display the articles. So that's fine for now. Uh, let's just remove this sidebar so you guys can see this a little more clearly. That's maybe too close for me, sorry. Okay, so now we've got that we want to actually start displaying articles on screen. So you can see we've got the web dev bar here. Let's start getting some articles and place them in. So what we need from here is uh, we need use state and we also need use effect. Hit save, go under React app and then we're going to create a const, call it articles and set articles. Uh, we're going to set this equal to use state as an empty array. Use state as an empty array. Perfect. Then once we've done that, we actually want enough one. We want a const, we want to call it subreddit. Um, and this is just going to be the actual subreddit we want to look at. And we're going to get set su uh, <laughs> set subreddit. God, my tongue twister is thingy. Enough for you to stay. And we're actually going to give this the default value of web dev as well. So we can actually pull something through straight away. We're then going to use the use effect. And obviously just a standard arrow function in here. Um, and we're actually going to pass through subreddits. Every time subreddit changes, this will recall which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Uh, so for this method to work, we need to use fetch and we're actually gonna fetch something from uh, Reddit itself. But let me go show you how cool Reddit is. So if we go to Reddit and we just go to web dev, right? You can see, when my internet loads, you can see we get this really cool feed of loads of different feeds. 
Now, let's say we just wanted to get this in JSON. How are we going to strip this? You can literally type .json on the end and bam, you get all the information for those articles. Now, you have to do a bit of digging. It's under something like data, 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 dot children. And then you get that and you can do it. You can also increase the amount you get by typing limit and upping the limit to, let's say, 100. Now, as you can see, there is a lot more posts here now. But for our basic demonstration, we're not going to add any params. Maybe you can add that in in the future and show me what you've made. I think that'd be pretty awesome. So that's just why I'd show you how that works. So we're actually just going to copy this link quickly. We're going to go in here and we're going to create a fetch. Now, which obviously with the fetch, we're going to paste in this link. Here, this WW is really important. I kept, I've done this tutorial twice already and it took me about half an hour to figure out that the, the reason it wasn't working was because I was missing the WW. So, lesson learned, remember the WW. Uh, let's type dot then and then we're going to get the result from this. And what we're going to do, we're just going to say if the result dot status is not equal to 200, that means something's gone wrong. So, let's just return out of this and we're just going to quickly console uh, dot log error that will be perfect so anything goes wrong we'll know because this bizarre error comes up and you know other developers will know what that means you know we don't need to put any description don't be silly uh, so what we're going to do is get we're going to get the result or the uh, response from the server and we're actually going to pass it through, through json uh, obviously this uh, returns a promise so we need to call dot then or we could use async away and you know that stuff but now we're not gonna do that today uh and tyler please stop messing up you just you look you look unprofessional uh <laughs> so we've got rest.json we're getting our data we're just gonna check if we actually don't get data uh oh no we're gonna make sure we do get data so if we're gonna say uh if data is not equal to null then continue so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna console log uh, the data so let's do that let's go back let's check our little thing here and we have an object inside the object we have data inside that data data we've got children and these are the posts so if I click into let's say number oh, we'll go number three number four, oh, that was number two where's well, number three in theory we've got enough of data you know they love their naming structures down here and you can see we get all the information we actually need. We get the permalink. We get the subreddit it's from. Uh, we already know that, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, we get a thumbnail if we want to use one of those. Um, and we get loads of other things. So we get a URL uh, where it links to and stuff like that. And we also get the title off it as well. The title is the most important part for our one, and so is the permalink. Um, so let's just close that. So we've got that information. Um, and obviously, it's nested in something called data, data, children. So let's actually just say uh, set article. So we're going to get these set articles and we're just going to pass through data dot data dot children. And that is going to pass through the array of children. And it's going to basically set articles equal to the array of children uh, we get back, which is perfect. So that's great. So, so far we've got this. Um, nothing changes. It only happens once. Uh, so let's actually loop through these. Well, actually first... Let's create a component. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to put it in a folder called components. So I'm just going to type components slash, and then the name of this will be article.js. And in here, I'm just going to use RFCE. Boop. And I'm just going to put, I hate not having uh, those at the end of that and that at the end of that. And we're actually going to change this into an article tag. And same with this one down here. We need an anchor tag, which could do hash for now, hash for now. And finally, inside here, we just need a H3. Um, and then we're just gonna say title. So we're just gonna hit save, and that's what we've got. We've got this little component. Let's import this component into our React app. So we're just gonna say import, uh, we'll call it article. And we're gonna say from, and then what we're gonna do is go boom, components, forward slash, article perfect so there we go so we've got the article so what we want to do down here is just quickly just to make sure it works is just say article hit save and there we go we've got that tile what leads to nowhere absolutely amazing uh so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the um articles uh let's remove that because we don't need that anymore um and what we're going to say down here is bam let's just do that 
and then we're going to check say articles if it's not equal to null then we want to do something else we want to do something else uh, so in the something we want to do is we want to go articles uh, sorry my typing keyboard face is not working uh, we're going to type map map so we're going to map through the array and we're going to get the article and the index of the article and we're going to use a arrow function of course and then we're actually going to get the article which is going to have a key equal to the index our react will mode us that we don't have a key and then we need the we're actually going to pass through the article as a prop and we'll just say article dot data because that's actually what we need the data not the actual article the data or the article um and i think we're missing a one of these no what are we missing we've got that goes into there wait does that need to be on the same line as that and that needs to be the same line there and remove that <gasps> I don't actually think we need to put that on. I just think we need to remove that end thing. Yes, that is what we need to do. Perfect. So now you can see it's working. Uh, so let's go back and you can see we get all the titles, but there's no titles. So we need to go back into article and we need to pass through our props. So inside of our props, we need to obviously change the href because we want them to link somewhere correct. So we actually want to go to... Um, https forward slash reddit.com and then we're going to plus props dot article uh, and then dot permalink and that is all we need to do uh, we actually need to, that's a lie we need to do target underscore blank and we need to actually get the title as well so these curly braces obviously allow us to write uh, javascript inside of our html all we're going to say is props.article.title. And now if we go back, you can see we get all the articles, tiles, and the links. And now if we click on one of these, it takes us to a new screen. Perfect. So that is all looking good. But we still can't change this. Like we can't change this and it doesn't change here. But before we do that, let's actually style it up because it doesn't look that great. So the first thing we'll do is say margin, zero, padding, zero box sizing border box and finally we're just gonna give it a font family of uh, Montserrat and sans serif and uh, we need to style the header the header will have a background color of uh, or just a background image I'm not even gonna bother with fullbacks we you guys know how to do styling we're not this isn't a styling video although I'll probably share it to styling video pages because you know Everybody needs extra support now and then. Uh, FFCE00. Zero, zero. Uh, we're going to add a box shadow. Why? No idea. Just feeling like it. Uh, RGBA0000.2. Zero, 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 zero um, and finally, some padding of 15 pixels. Let's go back. That's looking a little bit better. Not the best, but a little bit better. Um, and then we're just going to say input. And then the input, we're just going to actually say display inline block. Uh, give it a color of white, a font size of like 32 pixels, a font weight of like 600, a uh, font style of italics. I like how it looks when it's slightly tilted, you know what I mean? Uh, a transform of uppercase. Let's go to the background color of none because we need to reset this as well. Outline, none, border, oh, border, none, and don't forget the appearance, none. I think that was already appearance and then I drove for it again. Let's go back. There we go. So now it actually looks like it's a title, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but I kind of want to add in in the header. I want to go to the before. And I literally want to just say content. Oh. We, should, we just want slash r slash r. Um, but we also want literally everything from here upwards. And paste it in there save and there you go so now it says slash r and then whatever one we want again we still can't change that we're going to fix that in just a minute uh but we want to go to dot articles article and we're going to give them a padding of 30 pixels 15 pixels uh background color of white 
and the color of 212121 save go back sorry we don't need to set the color here i just realized we actually need to set inside of the h3 we want to go to the anchor and say text decoration none we want to go to the um h3 and set the color of 212121 save and there we go that's starting to look a bit better but the articles look kind of crap so let's just go to article um and then nth child and we want to say 2n so the second one we'll set the background color to f3 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 and there you go now we've got some different colors that's great but we actually want to have the state for this too so articles article and when we hover over it we're just gonna say we're literally gonna go up here wait we're not even gonna mess around just typing out again copy that and paste that there we go and there you go we get that let's flip it around say two left just so it doesn't look the same there we go bam uh, we could change the color too but we won't do that for this when you guys know what it is we're not we're not a massive style we're not going in on the styling but uh i just wanted to make it look a little bit better cool so now let's hook up this web dev input here so we're going to go back to app and we need to bind this input to this subreddit so the first thing we're going to write is in value we're just going to say subreddit so that will be equal to subreddit which is great but we still can't change it we need to actually do an on change event and we actually need to need to set 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 articles and what we're going to say is e oh we actually need to do this as e and we just need to say e dot target dot value so what we're doing here is all we're saying is the value of this equal to subreddit but when we start writing in here we want to actually update our articles um sorry not set articles set subreddit um we want to update the subreddit so what we type in here needs to update this it's confusing i know but it works um and then we take the event um use an arrow function and get the actual value of this so if we go back and we start typing let's say javascript you can see it updates obviously nothing's changing yet and what we'll, you'll see why in a minute but we can now actually type anything we want in here now the reason nothing's changing is because we're not actually changing the fetch what we want to say is in here we're just going to say sub reddit save go back as you can see it still works now if we say something like javascript bam it updates we click on one of these it opens and that is how you create a subreddit feed okay guys i hope you learned something new in this video um something new about react or even just how you use the red subreddit api um i think it's a pretty awesome concept and you could do way more from what i've done this is a very basic example take it further have a look into the api have a look what you can get and what you can't get and try and make something really awesome maybe add a limit swap so you can choose how many posts you see at once uh, a pagination i don't know if that's even possible but figure it out find out have a look D dive deep into it and let me know what you guys create using this method guys but for now guys thank you for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button smash the subscribe button ring the notification bell leave a comment and share it with all your friends it really does help guys thank you for watching this video and peace out Do the